What is going on ICO rankings viewers? It's your post Crypto RJ and today we're going to be talking about what happened at the Bitcoin conference because Donald Trump, who is most likely to be the next president, has made a lot of claims and we're going to be talking about why is this important for crypto moving forward, how this affects ICOs as well, and what you need to know to be prepared. And guys, I am very excited for this. If Donald Trump does actually get elected, which again, it does seem likely to be, uh, I think crypto is going to have a very, very nice boom. But Let's talk about it. Let's go over the details. So to start off, obviously, it is the Bitcoin conference and the main crypto that they're going to be talking about here. It's not ICOs. It's not meme coins. It's Bitcoin, right? Uh, Bitcoin and probably stable coins. Now, there has been so much talk about uh, there being like a stable coin for the um, countries and like USA would have its stable coin and maybe there'll be like a one world currency. And, you know, there's so many theories and whatnot that we could obviously go down another day. But for the main part for this video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin uh, and Guys, Bitcoin is currently at $67,000. Now, who remembers when, you know, <laughs> Bitcoin at 67000 would be like a fever dream? Everyone was like, oh my god, 67 Because a lot of people don't realize that our previous all-time high from the last bull run was 69000 And to see that we're at sixty-seven, but people don't really care, pretty interesting, right? Now, earlier today, we did basically tickle the $70,000 mark as well. Uh, and we can see even in the past week, guys, Bitcoin hasn't really done much, but it has been ranging around the $67,000 mark, which is very, very bullish. But let's talk about what exactly has been going on in the market caps, right? So the overall market cap right now is $2.4 trillion. That's trillion with the T. <laughs> Not only that, guys, the market cap breakdown here, we can see is looking very, very good. So we can see BTC, ETH, Stablecoin, and others as well. Uh, and we can see the fiat, ba ba uh, the fiat backed stablecoin market cap, as well as the volume for past 24 hours. Everyone, everything's been looking very, very good. Even the dominance, we're starting to see about 50% dominance here. Uh, and obviously, that has continued to decrease from the past uh, bear market, but that makes a lot of sense. Now, if you guys want to know where I could find the best ICO rankings, if you guys want to know where to find the best ICOs, by the way, definitely check out ICO rankings. I'll be linked down below. But moving forward, let's talk about what exactly happened. So Trump supports Bitcoin policy. This is huge. So what are experts saying about the market? So Bitcoin is currently trading above 70 or around $70,000. And there was no breakthrough due to the uh, Federal Reserve meeting. So Trump's potential policies, if elected, include holding Bitcoin obtained from seized assets, removing Gary Gensler from office, reducing energy costs for domestic mining, and self-supporting uh, or supporting cryptocurrency self-custody, banning CBDCs, and establishing a framework for stablecoins. So we're going to go in depth into all of these things very soon. So uh, there's a bunch of key takeaways. The one main thing is a lot of people were expecting um, <coughs> Bitcoin to pump after this, I guess, conference. Obviously, guys, buy the rumor, sell the news. So there was obviously a huge, um, I don't really sell off, but expectation that there was going to be some sort of, I guess, information or bullish news coming out. So a lot of people already bought ahead of the conference and there wasn't much of a pump, but that's not a problem. Now, <laughs> now let's talk about what exactly happened. So we can see Bitcoin is above 69,000. If Trump was elected, the American government will hold 100% of the Bitcoin from seized assets, which is insane. So Sorry, editor, cut that out. So they're basically saying that the uh, government will be holding it in its, I guess, like a balance sheet, kind of similar to when Elon Musk was holding it from Tesla and they were holding onto Bitcoin. Another thing they're saying is Gary Gensler will be removed from office on the first day. For those that don't know, Gary Gensler works in the SEC and he's pretty anti-crypto. He is trying to um, regulate too many things and make the government get involved in too much. Uh, so it's honestly a good thing that he gets removed. The next thing is energy costs will be reduced to encourage domestic mining. That's obviously huge, guys, because mining Bitcoin is one of the most profitable things that people could do when it actually makes sense. When the energy makes sense and it's self-renewable, it is a massive way to make money, and a lot of countries would love to get a hold of this. Now, <clears throat> Another thing is the creation of central bank digital currencies. So CBDCs will be banned, which is pretty cool to see. So CBDCs is a way for the banks to basically regulate crypto. And that is something that we do not want. The beauty about crypto is that it's decentralized. We do not want massive corporations and banks taking hold of this and getting into this and making everything centralized. There's some other smaller things here as well, but overall it is looking very good. From a libertarian's perspective and someone who generally believes in decentralization, this is all very bullish. Another thing is there's some more takeaways as well. Um, he also went on to say that Kamala Harris is against crypto. So the Biden-Harris administration's repression of crypto and Bitcoin is wrong and it's very bad for our country. 
<coughs> he also states, let me tell you, if they win this election, every one of you will be gone. They will be vicious. They will be ruthless. They will do things that you wouldn't believe. He then says they were going to be building fossil fuel powered plants for Bitcoin mining farms and AI. Now, guys, overall, this does seem to be very bullish news. If you're someone who believes in crypto, this is very amazing, and you're definitely going to want to uh, vote for, uh, and you're definitely going to want to vote for Donald Trump if you are in the states, regardless of whether you're not in the states or not. It does seem like the America, like the states, pushing crypto forward and making this bullish will be amazing for the crypto, uh, I guess, market as a whole. I'm very excited to see what happens with this. I know a lot of you guys will be as well. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this. And guys, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, guys, once again, if you want to know about the best ICOs and you guys want to learn about all this, you guys want to know how you know we could find out about this, definitely check out ICORankings.com. I'll leave a link down below. Until next time, guys, remember, stay seeking success.